seconds. Infinity? Keep it 100. 100 years of excellence. Sensational centuries. Century of colorful life. Century. Centennial. Century. Century. Growth. Growth. Nourish and grow. Cheese! It's a topic. Soda. Probably people art. Golden. Butterman. Ten carat diamond. Perspectives. Legacy. Our roots. Perseverance. Perseverance. To infinity and beyond. Dreams of you. Cheese. <laughs> Flowers. To myself. Butterflies! A new beginning. New beginnings. Christmas. Maybe. Carnival on the olive line. Rising Raiders. Something to do with one team? One team. Elaborate. Unity. Pivot. Farewell. We'll give it a C. The Roman numeral for 100. Celebrate. Clear. Strive. Striving for the future. Sky high. Students, faculty, staff, administration, and honored guests, welcome to the 2023 yearbook dedication ceremony. This year, we are excited to celebrate the centennial volume of Kamo'olelo O'ilani with you. My name is Hannah, and I'm here today with Marika, Erica, Elsha, Marin, Sarah, Zoe, Grace, Jordi, and Miki. We are the yearbook seniors, and we proudly present you with volume 100 of Kamo'olelo O'ilani. Kamo'olelo O'ilani is the story of Iolani as told by the student staff members. Since 1922, we have told the story of moments that bring us together, moments that make us raiders, and moments in which we stand strong as one team. This year's book represents a small piece of a centennial, and so for this very special volume, we have incorporated aspects of our publication's past. We would like to take a moment to recognize our past dedicatees. We are forever grateful to the role models who have dedicated their lives to caring for and shaping our Iolani community. Each and every one of them is an irreplaceable part of Iolani's history. Whether they are cheering us on from the sidelines, in the classroom, or around campus, they are integral members of our school. Our dedicatees, please stand to be recognized as you are able. Before we reveal the theme of the yearbook, we would like to take a moment to celebrate the unforgettable memories made over the past year. Please enjoy a slideshow containing photos of moments that truly define what it means to be a Raider. Rolling 
not a stop, watch, don't never stop. Just a floor that got the block hot, like a super hot. Give me my respect, give me my respect. I just took it left, like I'm every day. I'm a girl, I didn't want to be your step. Gotta sneak a deal and I ain't break a sweat. That's the truth. I go from 6 to 23 like I'm LeBron. Serving up a pack. Pulling back the curtain by myself, take a look.
you home tonight. We started planning for Bali 100 at the end of last school year, coming up with theme ideas until we had covered an entire whiteboard with words. However, none of them seem to fully encompass the spirit of Iolani while also recognizing the people who make Iolani the school it is. Last year, we reflected on the past and envisioned the future with and beyond. This year, we honor our publication's past as we celebrate 100 years of Kamo Olelo o Iolani and look forward to the many stories yet to come. We would now like to honor the previous staff members and editors who have burned the midnight oil, lighting our path and the paths of those who will follow in our footsteps. For a hundred years, generations of storytellers have captured memories, accomplishments, and successes. Now please enjoy a short video produced by Alina Otsuji that explains some of the special features of this year's book. Following the video, we will reveal the delicacy of Volume 100 of Kamo Olalo o Iolani. Our dearest Iolani, this year we celebrate Volume 100 of Kamo Olalo o Iolani and honor the generations of storytellers who have come before us. With this book, we honor those who have burned the midnight oil, lighting the path just as their predecessors did before them. To tell the full story of our publication, we called back a collection of alumni who were once our editors. Honoring and linking past to future, we partnered to expand our coverage and tell a series of stories that dove deeper into the heart of your life. The color palette is inspired by our canvas. Icons featuring pasts of our school have been incorporated into the cover. Although campus holds a special place in our hearts, it is the students, faculty, staff, administration, and alumni who weave the friendships that fill the pages of Iolani's story. Though normally read, the less common Ohia Mamo means descendant in Hawaiian. Just as we are descendants of the past yearbook staffs, each story is rooted in our history and celebrates the people who make Iolani no Kaoi. Now, as we commemorate Volume 100 of Kaomo Olelo o Iolani, we are honored to celebrate the story of you. First word I used to describe as the patrol is committed, but as I'm saying that out loud, Committed makes me think of John Wick. That's quite the right. Okay, so maybe not committed because of the John Wick association. Dedicated. I would say he's dedicated. What are three words you'd use to describe Dr. Control? Well, I mean, there's so many words that can describe him. I think I'd start with smart. He's very, very smart. Agile. So situation presents itself and he can move quickly and do it and innovative. He'll figure out a really clever way to solve the problem. I like to think of him as a, as an edge, I call him an edge walker, like somebody who walks on the cutting edge. It is a scary place to be, but he's forced us to innovate in ways that keep us excellent, right? Yomani is a place of excellence, and it has always been. But to maintain that, you have to change with the times. In terms of how well a school responded, and how quickly you could meet the needs of our student body. Um, that's an example of how, how effective he can be, and uh, that's something that's very admirable. So when he first came, um, Sullivan Center had been built, but it was, it was empty. 
it had space, but all the curriculum and the teachers and the classes had to be built in. He mentioned when he first got here, um, they were about to pour um, the concrete pathway um, right in front of his elephant. And I think one of the, one of the Komus said that he had to break down into what he hoped for the building and the programs and the students in the space. And so he said he took a sharpie and he sat there and he wrote down everything that he had hoped the space to be. Every day we walk over that writing, I think he would have written that he'd want this space to have a culture, to have, to have a spirit in walking. You just feel like you're part of this, this story. Um, we built, we built a unlimited canoe. We built a plane. Um, we have students doing amazing research every day. We have, we have award-winning publications. Tim really is just relentless, I would say, in a, in a good way, where he just, just drives forward, continues to push forward. Um, we'll be tackling things and something might come up, and in my mind, I'll say to myself, like, ooh, are we sure we want to do that? And then, you know, Tim will continue to stand strong behind what, you know, we think is going to ultimately be best for the school, and he'll just continue to help push the school forward. And at the end, I gotta say that I'll look back and I'll say, that was a good call. One, one of the things that is close to my heart that he supported in these last 10 years um, was the, the bringing on of Olelo Hawaii and also the starting of Founders Day. When we initiated those changes, they were not a foregone conclusion. Not everybody thought that it was a valuable academic endeavor, but he was a stalwart supporter. And we needed that. We needed that in him to, to help those, those initiatives go forward. Um, and that meant a lot to me as a Hawaiian person. Um, but also I think it made richer the lives of students. Uh, I think he does a good job at preserving the one team philosophy because again, he's really busy, but he always makes time to show up to all the sporting events and make sure to ask how we're doing with our sports in school and life. His time at management was really good. He always had time for us for extra help and he never made it feel like we were ever a burden to him to fit us into his really busy schedule. Dr. Cottrell loves and supports the fair, which is one of our biggest fundraisers. He just discovered this year that he loves making malasadas, and he will do so in the future. I just remember, I think it was the first fair, um, Dr. Cottrell's first fair, and I was, I was there working a late shift, and I remember walking by um, the cafeteria, and on that backside, he was there doing dishes during the breakdown shift. And I know it's one of those things where all faculty, right, you, you do what you need to do, but it was just one of those things to see our head of school doing something and modeling that nothing is beneath anyone, that by putting yourself out there and doing what needs to be done, whatever that may be, um, I think that's awesome. So it's getting pretty rare to have one-on-one -on -one talks in person with him in college. Um, but recently he came to Boston and I was able uh, you know, to have this conversation and ask him, how do I achieve what I want in college? And he told me just every day, take one step forward. And that's his secret, and I admire his work ethic. I know my father deeply cares about the Iolani community, and I'm glad to say that he's earned this dedication. Tim, we're really lucky to have you. Uh, we're really happy you're with us, um, and we hope you'll stay with us for many, many, many more years.
I don't know if I have a speech in me. Um, one thing I say to the people with whom I work all the time is that the students here bring me to tears all the time. When I see your performances, when I see you in athletics, it's so inspirational to all of us, the adults who are here to serve you. So I want to thank the student body. We couldn't perpetuate who Iolani is without all of you having faith in this school, believing in who we are, and understanding how we work together as a community in a way that is really unique in the world in which we live, right? We, we live in a world that's very complicated, and the way we live together sets us apart, and it sets all of you on a path to be moral, conscientious, hardworking, successful, and loving people in the future. So foremost, I want to thank the Iolani student body. You guys are the best. And it is an honor and pleasure for all of us, all the adults, to come here every day and serve all of you and watch you all grow up into the wonderful young people you are. So thank you very much. I did not know this was coming. <laughs> very appreciate it. And Iolani no kaoi. Volume 100 is addressed to you. As we celebrate the centennial volume of Kamo Aloha Oiolani, we write our love letter to the school and the people who helped shape it. Through this year's book, we acknowledge the lifelong students and the dedicated faculty and staff who are the reason Iolani and this publication thrives. Thank you to everyone who made our book possible. First and foremost, we'd like to extend a thank you to our Jostens, representatives, and advisors for their invaluable support throughout this year. To our staff members, thank you for the hard work you put in to help us make the centennial volume the special book that it is. Today, we place the responsibility of burning the midnight oil into your hands. We are all so proud of you and know that you will do amazing things next year. We would also like to thank the teachers, staff, administrators, and the Iolani community for their willingness to engage with and inspire our creative processes. You are all an integral part of both the story and the documentation of the story of Iolani. Finally, thank you to the physical plant, AV, and the many individuals who made this ceremony possible. Thank you for attending the Centennial Dedication Ceremony. The yearbooks will be available for pickup beginning period four through three o'clock p.m but pickup will not be available throughout lunch. Students, you will need the QR code ticket that was emailed to you yesterday. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you have a great day. Go Raiders!